Okay, so I have to record 60 frames per second because the OBS doesn't like me getting more than 60 FPS, let alone 165. Anyway, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jeffrey. I'm back with, you know, a tutorial video. This is part two of getting your own custom zombies skins or, you know, custom zombies models. So, in my last video or my previous tutorial video, we did part one, which was a requested uh, thing, or series, whatever. Um, what we're going to do, oh, I mean, what we did in the last video was we exported zombies, set them up in Ape, and boom, you have your spawn and everything works flawlessly. However, that was with a pre-existing zombie. And with pre-existing zombie, I mean like a zombie model that we rip or exports, same thing, uh, that we exported straight from Black Ops 3. It can be a custom, it can be a custom map or a legit map. It doesn't really matter as long as it, if it works in BO3 and you export it, you can make it work in Black Ops 3 or your custom zombies map or mod very, very easily. However, that was because the hard work was already done. If it's a custom zombie skin or not, doesn't really matter. This time, this time it is a little bit different what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and launch black ops 4 zombies and i'm thinking of exporting uh, the blood of the dead zombies exporting that setting it up and stuff like that and hopefully i will be able to show you every single detail however this video will be long because the last video was a quick version an easy method but that was already way too long so now what I will do is I will edit it, but the problem is with editing long videos or tutorial videos is that I may or may not uh, mistake a part of the video or several parts of the video where I'm like, okay, it's not really that detailed so I can cut that piece out. However, that may or may not be the piece of information that you actually needed and because it's cut it out, you will never see that so hopefully that will not happen in this long video i'm gonna make it short as possible hint what i'm talking you know why i'm talking so fast uh so yeah let's roll the intro and we'll get to the tutorial right after the intro All right, so you might be thinking, hey, you said that you're gonna export Blood of the Dead Zombies, which is from Black Ops 4, but why is Black Ops 3 on the screen? Good question. You see, the thing is that um, in here, what we're gonna do is we need a zombie model from Black Ops 4, uh, 3 because it has the bones. And that's all that matters we i just want the bones and then it's done just the bones boom we can move over to bo4 so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna go into garot crovy then we can do a, a private match and all we're gonna do is export a single zombie model then delete everything but keep the bones or joints oh yeah i also forgot to mention uh, that we need a Black Ops 3 uh, uh, body with the joints and stuff. Now, I will not provide a link in the description box below for the joints that I will port over because you have to do it yourself because it may or may not work. And I'm pretty sure it will not work on most of you guys because here's the thing with Maya. Maya wants to recognize things and it keeps pretty much everything it knows or used before or later whatever it likes and it like maya likes to save the experiences in your ram which means as soon as you open up maya that's why it takes a while to open and close because it saves everything in your ram and boom it deletes it once it's closed i'm about to export a zombie model and delete everything from that zombie model except for the joints which is the bones however if i provide a link in the in the description box below for you to download which only has those bones it may or may not work for you and the only way to tell when it will will not work 
is at the end did everything you want however if you move the joints up and down after connecting them it may uh, it will not move why because it's not recognized by Maya on your computer uh, you don't have to start from scratch all you have to do is export a zombie model delete everything but keep the bones save that Maya scene and you're done you never have to do that ever again again your bones will work for you but it may or may not work for me sometimes it will most of the times it will not because again you didn't had that joints before and Maya will be like hey I don't recognize this Here's an error, it will not move. I know what you're trying to do, but you cannot accomplish. Give me the original version. That's what we're gonna do right now. Once again, like previously, you want to set up the models, uh, the settings I mean in-game and model settings and uh, image settings. As I mentioned in the previous video, go watch that. If you haven't, I'm not going to go ahead and explain how to port over because I already did that too many times. What we're going to do is load and we're going to search for a zombie. Uh, 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 here we see zombie body 1, 2 and, and 3 and the heads and stuff. What you want to do is get the now let's say you want to you want your zombies to have limbs it's gonna take a little bit longer because then you need the bones for the main body the beheaded the legs off uh left arm off left leg off low clean right arm off right leg off up clean and a head maybe even a helmet and that's it and these ones needs to be painted then usually what, pe what people do is only get the main body and the head and that's it it's way easier just, just just do that which means if you shoot the zombies arm the the arm doesn't fly off or the feet and stuff you can make a crawler but it will have legs that just does not move or broken or whatever what well, usually also people do is have a script that you cannot have crawlers and stuff. Uh, which makes sense because technically the legs doesn't fly off, so why have crawlers then? Anyway, that's what we have what we need. We just gotta do export selected and it's done. Usually what also people do is charge you for this. Just to let you know, you can ask me or anyone. Just ask anyone else, please. <laughs> but yeah, so if there is a mob, if there is a uh, thing you want to export, contact me or someone. And if I can cannot get bothered or deal with it, then go ahead and contact someone else or anywhere on the internet. But they would charge for it, and you have to respect that because it's a lot of work, and you will find out. So once we did all of that, so we can close it. So we get GDT. We don't need the GDT, but still. And now, if you go here, we have the body, we have the images, we don't really need the images, the body, and the head. Okay, but this is from Black Ops 3. So, but okay, so yeah, we can play the game and stuff, pause it, we are going into Greyhound, we can do load game. Uh, this one may or may not be 
you know, the name may not be the same. I think it's not. C T8 ZMB Mob Zombie Body 1. We want to export that one. And now again, if you if you want it to be, you know, the limbs flying off and stuff, you have to do uh, pretty, you know, pretty much uh, everything. Um, and we also want the head. Head. And if you want the hat, you can. But it's fine if you don't want to. Now, you may be like, why can't we just do the Maya scene and did the same thing as before? Let me demonstrate. It uses different joints. Now joints are bones, so whenever I say joints, I'm, I'm talking about the bones. And whenever I say bones, I talk about joints because it's pretty much every single thing is the same. Okay, so in here, if it's loaded up, yep, it uses different joints. Now, it may look the same, but it really is not. And that is the problem. Now the names are different for the, or maybe not, we'll see, let's see. Um, okay, so if the names are the same or not, it doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you the process of what you have to do, otherwise it will not work. So before what we did was we exported, I mean deleted the model but kept the joints. Now we're going to do the exact opposite. We're gonna keep the model, but delete the joint, just like that. And now what we want to do is select this, select hierarchy, call you tools, export X model, no, file, export selection. Let's go to the desktop and we want this to be FBX is the best format. Why FBX? Because we're gonna reuse it and or re yeah, reuse it in another scene from Maya. So we're gonna do uh, I don't know BO4 mob of the man no it's blood of, blood of the dead. Okay, so what you want to do now is um, I think you, you can drag and drop in the one with only the joints yeah there you go now because it wasn't a, in, a, in a pose just like this it will fit perfectly however we're not done yet so now what you want to do is we are going to paint the waist so you can like modify a few things if you don't want the barbed wires you can delete that uh, if you go to the attribute editor here and on the tab, um, there we go, MTL, you can see what material is connected or through here, stuff like that. Okay, so now that we did that, we have to paint the waist. <coughs> I kind of forgot how to paint the waist, so let me just figure this out. To modeling, mesh, combine, there we go. So now it's all combined. We go back to rigging. Select the joint. Skin. Oh yeah, okay. So we select the, the thing here. The, the model. We do skin. Find skin or paint skin. Yeah, so we're gonna do uh, paint skin waste. As you can see, now in here, you go over to tool setting. You can do whatever you want here. Uh, paint select, I think it was. Or paint, whatever. And you want to do add. From wireframe mode, press 5 to see this one. And it shows an X. Why are you showing a X blind skin? Anyway, it's gonna be a long video if I keep doing this. But basically, what you have to do is whatever part, like you basically want to 
paint the whole zombie inside and the outside uh, because I'm in a rush I forget but you want to zoom in and paint it in the inside if you want it to look amazing however um, don't forget that there's a little tip here because look you can paint everything you want however what people also do to make it a bit easier is to paint only the parts that is moving so the hands the elbow the shoulders uh, the whole arm pretty much and then the chest doesn't really move that much so you can do like the, the outer edges of the chest and then the inside leave it um, the neck doesn't really move that much the legs will definitely move and stuff like that um, but there was a thing you had to do and I forgot that so eh, go ahead and cut over to me when I'm done because this will take a few hours um, I'll be back when I'm done painting the waist and stuff I just realized that I already had this done so yeah, just realized it okay so once you did the paint waste thing you want to export it as usual and uh, set it up in ape I already did a tutorial video on this one which was the last video go ahead and watch it through and you know that's how you can learn on how to set up a spawner and stuff and everything you want to know however i did not i think i did cut it out the the gibbing part so basically what you want to do is copy a gib from that anywhere and then just go here and say like um if you have the right arm uh, it, it, the right arm flies off which is just a single right arm where is it there you go you can see the s right arm and stuff like that you want to put the name of the model in there and then the spawn tag is where the model spawns at which is basically the elbow and you want to put in that name of the elbow from the joint you can see those names in maya um, so you, you do that now I had a little bug in this one we can go ahead and fully compile our map now because I already had this uh, going yesterday prepare you know pep preparation for today's video which is this video um, I already have them set up and everything so watch my previous video if you want to know how to do that if you don't want to click it right now that's cool because I'm I'm giving you useful information here uh, wait for the end of the video on the end screen you will have I will give you the possibility or chance to click on the video which I was just talking about click on that video and then watch that video if you want at the end all right um, the game will crash when I kill a specific zombie um, because I didn't properly set up the thing in a but that's not a problem it's easy to fix so I will fix that issue and then come back but as you can see these are my zombies some of them comes with the helmet uh, some of them does not and some of them comes with a different helmet but I don't see him so let's do slow motion Oh yeah, headless. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So, <laughs> a zombie that has not a helmet, uh, there is something that I did wrong. So I'm gonna fix it and then release it in all forums. But that pretty much covers it. I know I may have skipped something that was really useful for you guys, but I'm in the rush. I want to get this done quick. I have lots of lots of videos to record because the requests keep coming keep coming and I love it thank you guys for requesting videos please keep requesting videos if you need any help maybe you have some questions and stuff on how to rig zombies feel free to ask me but I'm not really helpful because I don't really know that much 
I know a few things, but not that much. What I would say is contact Mr. Lattner or someone else on the uh, community of BO3 Multiples because they know more than I do regarding rigging. With that said, make sure you subscribe because I do upload different rights of videos and I take requests from subscribers just like this one. And you know, I stream. I try to stream every single day, but I have so many requested videos, so many videos to record, and I love it. It puts a smile on my face, and I hit the mic. Sorry, baby. But yeah, thank you once more for watching this video. I'm sure it's for you.